we in the cultural sector do not take steps to understand the changes taking place in young people's lives today, we will not be able to meet their cultural needs. This research is about young people and how they engage in culture. So we as a sector have uh, all sorts of assumptions about what they do, how they do it, why they do it. And this research is significant because it's looking at young people's journeys to engagement. I think this research for the creative and cultural sector is going to mean that they're going to have to really consider their offer for children and young people, particularly online. It's not just a matter of putting content up there and hoping that young people are going to come to it. There are many key findings, but I think the things that are different about this is the extent of digital engagement and connectivity. We know that. It's in all the mainstream media. It's shown us just how truly innate digital connectivity is for young people. It's highlighted for me a need for cultural organisations to get rid of traditional ideas of their careers and the organisational structures. Hopefully the report will encourage cultural organisations to take maybe one thing from the research that they feel they can implement themselves and is actionable. I think from a sector point of view I'd like to see it influencing policy um, in terms of what's funded and how we fund work with and for young people. We're not saying completely revamp everything you're doing now in the light of this research. It is a conversation and they can use the insights we've got now to explore new ways of working with them so that they meet the needs of young people.